day 23 here at the Nave. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. This is the penultimate 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 Pen yeah penultimate. Penultimate. It's, the, it's the penitent beer. penultimate beer and it's kind of bittersweet because I've really had a good time doing this yeah like, this is this is fun I like it you guys should get beer advent calendars and do it with your friends because like it's fun we've had a good time you know hey. we should start marketing like you know at nave advent calendars for you know just every month like hey. Welcome to uh, January. <laughs> Here's your Janya event calendar. Yeah. Well, wait. Why does it have to be Jan? It's just Advent, but in January. Would it, I, I think. Wait. Hold on. Why not? Nadvent. Nadvent. Yeah, that sounds like some kind of sex stuff. <laughs> hey, we're the rambling name. Penis. We're regular ass dudes who do regular ass beer reviews in a basement. And, and other you, things. Yeah, and other things. We do uh, reactions to stuff and things. We have a. Uh, pretty substantial, well, maybe not substantial. We have a back catalog of videos you should go watch. You should consider subscribing. We get very, very blue. So if you're easily offended, you speaking might want to... Speaking of blue, this looks away. Like blue moon. Yeah, but that being said, this is day 23, the penultimate day of our advent calendar. Oh, I get it. It's not blue moon. It's white tide. Get yeah. it? Because the moon influences tides. That's, and this is brewed with orange peel and coriander. Hey, we know what coriander is, and we'll tell you all about it after these uh, brief messages from us. Hey, was that brief enough? <laughs> <laughs> it normally is. <laughs> all right, so this is white tide. Uh, it is a five. All right. It well, is a Belgian wheat brewed with orange peel and coriander, which we're quite familiar with. Yeah, it's a uh, tree fish. Yeah, bird fish. Yeah. So no, how, wait, how many of these have been brewed with orange peel and coriander? Because I feel like, like this three is like or the four. Three. Sixth. Is that it? Man, that's it. Really? Look, this is just knock off Blue Moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't know that. I fucking hate Blue Moon. Yeah, well, me too. But you know. Well, what's yeah, but maybe this is like good Blue Moon. Like maybe Blue Moon hasn't perfected the recipe because it's like one of those. Uh, Catch-all brands that's just like, hey, I want to try to appeal well, to the masses. It's true. Well, this one is like, I want to appeal to the beer connoisseur, which is to... clearly the rambling knave in a basement. It well, wants okay. to orange peel. You should stop. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was gonna say the other reason I hate Blue Moon is because it's a it's a mass market beer, like it's owned by Miller Coors, mm. but it tries, it has tried and always has tried to pass itself off as like some independent craft beer. Yeah. And it's not. It's Which just, is like how you always complain about uh, Sam Adams being considered a craft beer. Yeah. You know, and they keep like, bump, re, yeah. they keep, you know, yeah, retconning the, the numbers. That the standards. Can, yeah, the standards just so they can keep Sam Adams under that umbrella. And it's like, okay, so that. this is dirty uh, this bath is, water yep, again. This is. What's that smell like? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, see, okay, but... <clears throat> it doesn't smell bad, though. It, again, beers uh, with orange peel and coriander smell really good. Like, they have a very pleasant smell. I would like have, I would like to have a candle of that. Right, yeah, like, the, the coriander smell is very warm, you know, and it makes you feel all cozy, and then the orange peel gives you that sweetness on the back end. It's like potpourri. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I wouldn't drink potpourri. Whoa, wow. Wow, that's sweet. There's a lot. That's wow. A sweet. Holy shit, that hits you real hard. Mm, there's a little bit of sour on the back end, too. Yeah, I don't know. Wow. Ooh. That wave is crashing. This over is like me. candy. This is like candy. No, oh, that's sweeter than candy, it's man. It's really watery. That's though. like straight up sugar. It's super watery. Yeah, you're not wrong. The mouthfeel is very thin. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go back and say this is another breakfast beer. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, if the beer is brewed with... This is one of those uh, wuss beers. Yeah, if it's ever brewed with orange peel and coriander, you just drink it in the morning. <laughs> it's just it's so thin. Before you have to go to the job you hate. Yeah, it's so thin. It's so thin. Like, see, I don't know, I think, like... I don't think they balance the flavors very well. The last one we had was more orange peel, and the one before that was more coriander. And this one is just like an assault <laughs> of both of them in your mouth. This and just again, like the beer. sugar water yeah. that saw like yeah. a little bit of orange. This is uh, this is <clears throat> juice for adults. <laughs> yeah. I don't. Yeah. No. I don't really care no. for that very much. This is. Um, yeah. This is like wham. 
<laughs> this beer tastes like George Michael. <laughs> How do you know what George Michael tastes like? Who doesn't? That public restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering what you were doing in New York on your trip. Hey, what are you doing here? I can't talk to I'm busy. I've got a date with George Michael in that public restroom. Do you think when... Side note. Do you think when he comes... He's Sidebar! Like, he's just like, wham! It's in ya! I hope so. That'd be the coolest way to, like, expel your ejaculate. Because normally people make, like... Dumb faces and like, like, you know, like just like clench themselves, and he's just like, wham, and his face gets all <laughs> big and bright, and his eyes get wide. You know, mostly when you when you do that, you're like, it's <laughs> time <Stop> to cry. <laughs> That's what she says. Yeah, well, yeah. Either way, if somebody's crying. <laughs> Chances are it's you too. <laughs> yeah, both. But he's just. Wham! Yeah, he's just into it. Like, he loves it. But I feel like that takes away from the uh, full body experience of doing that. And well, one thing this beer is not is full body. No. No, it's really you not. You see how he said that so beautifully? He's so proud of himself. We should give him a, a small a small golf clap <laughs> for how proud he is of himself. Yeah. It's like when Natalie Golbus sinks that putt from 15 <laughs> feet out. <laughs> It also sounds like him in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's, this is very tempered and quiet. Really quiet masturbating. 15, 15 feet is not really, not really that big of a putt. Whatever, dude. I could make a 15 foot putt. Well, yeah, we know. I can't. Yeah. Either. All right. Yeah, shut up. All right. So what do you give it? <laughs> I just want to be done with this. Right, I feel like this has been our quickest day so far. Yeah. This is so underwhelming. It's not bad enough that I can shit on it like for... A long time, but it's certainly not good enough to like wax poetic. I know, about and it. it's just like ah, it's like anti, you know, it's like anticlimactic. You Which, know, yeah, it's like, we've, yeah, that's a well, okay, so like you know, we kept doing the mixtape thing, and we're like on the back end of the mixtape, and it's supposed to like like tomorrow's better be like this eruption. Yeah, it better be like this godless endeavor. Oh, dude, we're yeah, just or eight. the Obsidian Conspiracy because Nevermore knows how to finish an album. Yeah, I right? mean, like you know, no, it's just eruption. It's just Van Halen right <laughs> at the end, <laughs> just all over your face. Next, either way, it's like the song. I, I know we're talking about tomorrow today, but like the song that ends an album, and that that could be what this is, right? Like you want to set that up so before your finale, this is you like give okay. them something a bit weak, but that's still it. It gives you enough that you're like, okay, well, now I'm I'm ready for tomorrow. Right. Or ready for the next song. Unless this is the end of the album and the next one is that hidden track, like on the CD where <laughs> yeah. like, you got done with that song and it's like, click, 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 and it's like, track 34, track 35, and you're like, what the fuck is happening? Yeah. <laughs> and then it gets to track like 99 and it's just like someone speaking in tongues. <laughs> yeah. But when you play it backwards, it's like, buy more albums. Yeah. Like, it's, yeah, it's like, here's the hidden track. It's just me, uh, fucking rev a goat. Like, revving my lawnmower. <laughs> but yeah, this is, this is the setup song for the finale. Well, I hope so. Uh, it, I don't know that it's even a setup song. I think it's just like, like an intro, like a, like an interlude. Yeah, you know, no, you're like, not like a wrong. minute 43, like, tinkly piece on the piano. Right, that like, doesn't necessarily have a point on the album. But it's just there to be like, okay. Here was the, the rest. Basis, here's the rest of the, the, here's like, the rest We'll of the let you album. put one song on the album. Well, no, no, no. It serves a purpose because like here's the it's rest of the album. It's Orion by Metallica. Do not talk shit about Orion. <laughs> don't even. I, don't I, even try. I knew that would. <laughs> I knew that would trigger him. I knew so well. I'll just agree that bassists are worthless. <laughs> <laughs> right, Noah? <laughs> right. I mean, the bass is just a wordless instrument. Yeah, like you can just cut it. the bass out of any any track, but you give them that one minute and a half, maybe less interlude. Hang on, okay. But if we're gonna do this, okay, <laughs> like Orion is this masterpiece of like <laughs> of like in, of like instrumental like prog thrash, okay. And if you listen to Cliff Burton's like bass lines behind the guitars, like it really pops because they're so intricate. Like it just really touched something. Something, now, now something, tour bus. Something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, but Orion does this really great job of, like, 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 kind of lulling you into what comes next. Because after Orion is Damage Inc., which is one of the most, just the most, like, mean fucking Metallica songs that they ever wrote. Well, hang on, then you just proved our point, that this is the setup to the mean fucking song that just 
box. Yeah, we're yeah. But yeah. Everybody so the, like, the, the interlude is just like no, no, let no. the bassist do his thing. <laughs> no, but wait. <laughs> Orion Fox. Okay, this is the intro to Damage Inc. This is that one minute of Kirk Hammett playing with his echo pedal. The wow, Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like he's playing with you know, he's playing with the volume knob while he was, you know, just letting him get his was out. This is getting your was out. And then like tomorrow better this be is that this is that free nut before you go to the bar. Yeah, no, and then tomorrow better be <laughs> Chica that I've been looking at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I need to make She's sure I'm ready to go. Out. Yeah. I just gotta like fire this one out with some like wrist kinetics and you know <laughs> empty the chamber yeah, so I yeah. don't Premature fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell okay. us more about how the bases work. <laughs> so this is this is the one minute of Kirk Hammett fiddling with his volume knob before Damage Inc. is just like This is the bass player of beers. <laughs> yeah, worthless. So what do you give it? That's a two. Maybe no, you no, heard no. it. I said this is the bass player for your design. It's a two. <laughs> Maybe it's a only three. one step above the key. Maybe oh, no, no, it's a three. Okay, key it's a guitarist. Three. Oh. <laughs> oh, let's bring that back. I'm gonna have an all guitar band. Dude, Striper just put out a new record. Oh, Ty. Are you kidding me? No, like oh we're gonna have God. to do a Striper reaction oh because so yeah, much yeah. Jesus. Hell yeah. All criticism aside, bass is all right. But this that's is like, true. This is like the Striper of beers. Yeah, I, I'm, I think I'm going to give it a three. I'll give it a two five. I'll split the difference. Okay. Yeah, I don't. So, it's it's really not that good. So we're really hoping like I'm hoping tomorrow is damaging. Tomorrow like, is the actual the song yeah. where it's just like after that wah, you know, after he's done fiddling, where it's just four minutes of just punching your face into just whatever song mush. you end most of your mixtapes with. Tomorrow needs to be it, or we're going to be sad. If not, we do a special <laughs> Christmas episode. <laughs> where we get blackout drunk and drink <laughs> our favorite beer. So we'll see you tomorrow for Christmas Eve. Love you. Later, taters. Bye.